Good afternoon everybody, it's Lynn from Stamping with Lynn Fay. Um, slightly later today, I was trying to work it on my iPad. It's been a very busy day today, so apologies. Trying to work it on my iPad, but it wasn't having any of it, so I went back to my hello lovely Carol and waving to you. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm I'm back on my, on my phone and uh, I just thought I would share some bits and pieces with you. So, so far the rain has held off. Um, it's, what is it, just gone 25 to 5 on Wednesday. Nice to see you too, my lovely Carol. Um, so yes, I thought I would do some uh, Wing It Wednesday, as my lovely Carol um, named it last week. Um, Wing It Wednesday. So I've done some samples, but I may end up still changing it. Um, excuse me, I keep getting, I hope you can hear me, can't you? Yeah, let me turn that up. Um, yeah, so I've got some uh, very bright colours to use, which not a lot of you see me using. You see me using, um, what do you see me using? Neutrals, not really, really bright. I've kind of gone for some bright today because I decided that my garden's looking beautiful, so I want to recreate it in my, um, in my crafting today. So, um, so happy Wednesday, happy wing it Wednesday. Um, how's your week been? Tell me all about it. Mine's just been absolutely crazy, 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 um, busy, exhausting. Um, but we're halfway through the week now, so it's all downhill till Friday. So it'll be exciting. Um, did you go out last weekend? I didn't, didn't go out to the, um, restaurants or bars or anything like that just caught up with a lovely friend um tell me when oh I've gone down to one person okay um so yes I just um thought I'd pop on and see um share with you some of my crafting okay so I'm going to um flip you around and show you um what we're going to be making so let me just do this bear with me just do that Okay, so this is the card. Whoop, just knocked my water over. I do that every time, you know, but there we are. So I am going to um, show you how I'm going to make this card. So um, so this is a card um, that says just because, because we don't need a reason. And I've also got a little gift tag that's got something on the back you can write. I was trying to find my... Um, Good afternoon, Karen. How are you, my lovely? Um, so yes, we are going to be using this beautiful stamp set called Lovely You um, to make this card and this gift tag. Um, it says, love is what makes us a family, miles apart but still in my heart, cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely. Smile, heartfelt, wildly grateful, you're my person. Now if you ever watch Grey's Anatomy, that is very prominent in there. Hi Amanda, thanks for joining. Just because is what I'm actually using on there. Always um, uh, cheer you up, let's cheer you up. And so as I say, I've used smile and I've used just because on my, um, my, my um, card. So the stamp set is £22 and it's on page 22 of the annual catalogue. Um, and I've pulled out nearly all of the stamp set, uh, uh, all of, I've pulled out all of the um, leaves and the flowers and I've left some of the sentiments behind, but for £22, it's a bargain. I absolutely love it and I haven't used it until now, but I am going to do lots and lots of things with it. So, um, so as I say, when you look at this, you're going to be able to see the two-tone effect on the, um, I wanted to make them poppies, the two-tone effect on these beautiful flowers with two colours. Um, and then these ones, which look like a sprig of um, a sprig of green, but I've actually just used the ends of them and turned them into like a flower sprig. So, um, so I shall put that to one side here so you can still see what I'm doing. And I will share with you. You made it. Yay. <laughs> so glad that you could join me. So thank you very much. So as normal, I have started with a card base. Now this is Witch Razzlebury. So I've scored it at 
10 and a half and cut it at 14.9. At okay, so that's my card base. I've also cut some pumpkin pie um, because although there isn't any um, orange in there, um, all the yellows made this look a little bit, this flower look a little bit weak and the red was too bright. So I just went for something a little bit orange. So this is, this, um, oh, is nine by 13 and a half, this one. So we can actually stick that down already. So um, let's put a little bit of Tombow glue on there because I'm not wrapping any ribbon or anything around it. I can actually put it directly onto the card. Okay, lovely. So if I write here that the, um, oh, is it pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie is 13.5 by 9. And then we'll have a whisper white layer, which I did at 8.5. Was it 8.5? Let's have a little look. I think I cut it down smaller. Bear with me, I was literally making it very quickly because as I say, it's been a bit busy. And as you can see, sometimes I don't even measure, I just do things by eye. So let's just cut one of these, bear with me while I come off camera. I am still here, talk amongst yourselves. Um, let's just cut that. Okay, right, I'm back. I'm back. So I've cut it at 13, so it's 13 by eight and a half. So that one was 13.5 by nine, and this is 13.8 by eight and a half. Okay, so I can put this to one side just for the moment. I'll just pop it out of the way. And what I did was, with a scrap piece of Whisper White, I stamped the Just Because, and I did it in Blackberry Bliss because I actually wanted it quite, um, I wanted it quite dark. So I'm going to do that again, open my, car, my um, Blackberry Bliss ink pad, tap, 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 stamp on there, let me make sure I'm in camera. Doesn't matter whether it's straight or not. I don't know whether that will... No, that's going to bug me. Okay, so I'm just going to redo that. So just down and up. Yeah, that's better. Move that to one side. And I'm going to use... Going to use this... Um, I've lost my words today. <laughs> this punch. Turn it upside down. Oh yeah, I've got to do it this way. Pop it in. Actually, if I do it that way, I can see if it's level. Okay, so I'm going to make sure. There we go. And this punch is £17 and it is in the account catalogue and it's got the bit that you can actually um, put it back in and, and do the, the slit or a little hole. But I don't need that. So that's my top layer. And then in the Blackberry Bliss, I also have... A spare bit and with this stamp uh, this punch which is also 17 pounds slightly bigger I'm going to pop it in here punch it out put it to one side and then what happens is it's just big enough to layer over it if you can have a look see so I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that because we need to do this one first because I'll show you what um what we're going to do with it, why it's important. So let's take those backs off of there. Oh, why did I do that? See, it's one of them days today, but it's absolutely okay. We all make happy accidents, so I need to put the dimensionals on the back of the white one. Um, there we go. So let's take them off the back of there. Flip it over. Line it up as well best we can there we go so can you see how how lovely that looks I'll move that ink out of the way and then depending on where you want your just because now what I might do is I might turn it round the other way and do it as a winging Wednesday because that one's up that way I might do it this way so with your pencil 
all I'm going to do is very lightly, I'm going to move it over that pencil mark so that they don't show. Put that one there and move it up over it so that the pencil marks are slightly smaller than the actual sentiment so that the flowers um, can come out from there, if that makes any sense. And what we'll do is we will rub them out later on. So, uh, what I started with last time was the big, the big flower. So I'm using Old Olive and this one, and I'm going to ink it up. Let me just move these to one side. Ink it up and have them starting inside. Let me come down a little bit more. Starting inside this um, shape. Okay, like that. I'm just going to do another one coming away from that because again we're not going to see any of this section so if there is overlaps it's not a problem and I'm just going to do one over there okay so that's that now what I decided I would do with some rich razzleberry hi Jeanette oh you can't stay long well thank you for popping in and uh, you're very welcome Lovely to see you and I hope you're well. This one is like a little um, crown almost and I'm just tapping it in the rich razzleberry and I decided to add it over the top of these um, green sprigs because who's to say that they're not flowers? Um, I'm just trying to put the flowers on every other one so that it doesn't look too busy. Um, and Let's just do one there. Bring one here. Now these ones aren't going to show up because they'll be behind the they'll be behind the sentiment because we're going to put our sentiment like that. So I might put another one just here. Okay. So do the same on this one. And you can change the colour of this if you wanted to. And you don't have to be precise. So I'm just turning it round each time. So that's a lot brighter than you um, would think, perhaps. So I've done a lot more colour on it than I have with this one already. So, um, so that's the uh, Rich Razzleberry with that little um, stamp. So let's move that one out of the way. We've done that one as well. Uh, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to use this stamp. And what I'm going to do is, because I didn't have lots of well I do have lots of the, the um, inks but if you don't then another good thing is if you've bought the Stampin' Right markers like these you can actually do some colouring in, um, in instead of um, using the, the uh, ink pads so with this what I'm going to do you always start with the lightest colour first so I'm going to put the old olive marker pen using the side and using the thick end hi Brenda Thank you for joining me today. Actually, I shouldn't have done that one, so let's swipe it off with my finger. It's not a problem if not, but I'm going to make sure that I go all the way along. Can you see? I'm just doing the, um, the green, the old olive, and then I'm going to use this colour, which is the Calypso Coral. I want to do it in a Jamaican accent, you know. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use the side of these just to ink up the bits that I want to become flowers. So where you might have looked at this and thought, oh, that's just a green sprig. I didn't. Um, let's put the lid back on of that. And then just if you took your time, um, you just need to huff on it just to activate the moisture again. Um, and then we'll bring it over here, perhaps. Let's have a little look. There we go. So now, as you can see, it actually has little flowers on the end. So I'm going to put that to one side as well. Um, I want to add this beautiful red poppy. I, I'm looking at it as a poppy anyway, but it doesn't have to be a poppy. So um, there we go. So let's do this. And again, we're going to um, ink it up with the side of the old olive marker pen. And we're going to grab the real red and I'm going to find it easier to just pull it to me. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm just covering 
that stamp with the red, the red ink. And then because I wanted some contrast with the Cherry Cobbler marker, I'm just going to, let me just come under the camera, just put some darker bits in the middle there and at the bottom of that. Now, because I've just done that quickly, I can actually add that over here. So just holding it down. And then you see, you can see the two-tone on there. I just want another one of those. So while I've got all of that, I'm just going to quickly do that. Put the dark, put the light red on first. There we go. So is everybody still here? Are you enjoying watching? What have you been up to today? Tell me while I'm doing this. So I can see your comments anyway. I'm just going to put that on there. And I'm going to put that one. I'm going to put that one. Actually, I'm going to pull it off this bit here. Pull it down there. There we go. So I put those two there. I put that to one side. Now I can always add more in a little while. But then I've got this lovely little stamp that's beautiful. So again, I'm using my old olive for the, the leaves and the, the stalk. Okay, and then I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to again cover the whole of the flower. You met two great friends. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well deserved, I'm sure, Carol. I hope you uh, hope you grabbed a couple with them. And then I'm just adding Pacific Point to the middle there of the flower. And again, I'm going to add you down here. There we go. And when you look, can you see that it, the Pacific Point has just marked it? enough to give it a two-tone otherwise it would be a little bit flat so I'm going to add another one of those somewhere on here so let's just do this do the light colour so turning it round and pulling it towards me hi Bridget thank you for joining me I'm making a, um, a card using the um oh you've been playing with the hippo happiness I don't think I've got that one You'll have to share with them, with us, what you've been doing. Share pictures on this when I've finished. So I'm going to do that one. And I think, where do I want to put this one? I think I might, hmm, let's have a little think. Might add it coming out over here. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to do another one of those because sometimes they do, well, they do tend to come in three. So I just want to balance the colour and because it's a little one. Uh, right, turn that round. As I say, these marker pens are brilliant and uh, you can use them to, to uh, you can use the reinkers to reink these if you just, with a pair of um, very tweezers, very gently pull the the nib out and drop a few um, drops of reinker in it. I know stamping up don't say to do that, but you can. So I'm going to put that one coming over there. See, beautiful. Now, just to make sure that's, um, yeah, that's not too bad at all there. So I now think we need some filler in flowers. Oh, I've just got green ink all over my fingers. So that's going to be the first place that we'll put some stuff. So with this lovely plain, well, it's not plain, it's just plainer compared to the other ones. I'm going to use some Mango Melody ink and fill in some gaps. Not all of it. Uh, just having a little look. Where do I want to put one there? Uh, let's just put that on there and just see. That one's going to get covered a bit. So we might want to put another one somewhere. I think we might put it on the edge there. So I think that's absolutely perfect and enough for what we need to do for the card. So I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to put the dimensionals on now. Uh, it's like a rerun of before. Take those off and flip that over. And as I say, you can't see the pencil mark because they're underneath everything and I made it smaller. 
So that's my layer, which is completely different to that one. You can add to it and take away from it. I am going to flip this over and add my glue. Okay. And make sure that I've got it the right way up. So that's going to open this way now. Put that on there so it's just got a little bit of layer in. Actually, let's pull that off. Center it a little bit easier. There we go. And then I'm going to add some. Um, what did I put? Ah, here they are. I'm going to add some gems, some bright gems. And what I've done is I've already coloured in some of them with the alcohol markers. You know the blends, um, and they go over. Didn't come off, did it? They go over the top of these dimension, uh, these um, gems, and they stay as a permanent colour. So I'm just going to get my scissors. And I'm going to add some, um, oh, thanks, Carol. I'm just going to add some clear sparkly gems to the, uh, the Melody Mango flowers because they don't need colour. But they just add a little bit of sparkle to the card. And then with these ones, I'm going to add them. Whoops, some little fella's just running around. Hi, Abby. So I'm just going to add one there and one, one there and then I'm going to add slightly bigger ones. Hi Jane, you finally caught me did you? Did you forget? Oh hi Gina, my, my um, on stage buddy. We, we did a demonstration together all those years ago. Gosh that was a long time wasn't it? Oh thanks Jane. Well as I say the original one was that along with the um, along with the uh, gift tag but uh, I decided to do my my now new wing it Wednesday and change it up so I'm still using these dimension uh, these um gems and just add in a few here and there just to give it a little bit more sparkle so as you can see I've got the colored ones on some of these I've got the plain ones on these um so compared to that, it's exactly the same, but completely different. So if you tell me which one you prefer, the portrait or the landscape, what do you reckon? Write down for me, portrait or landscape. Oh, found one of those gems in my hair. And what I'll do is I'll get, um, I'll get everything prepped for the gift tag and then I can show you that. So what do you reckon? Portrait or landscape. Lovely. You have to write it down for me so I can read it. You like both, Jane. Typical. But what's your favourite? Portrait or landscape? Hmm? I can't see anything. Okay, so I need that. Okay, so Karen likes portrait, lovely. Carol, the other Carol, loves them both. You still like both, okay? Well, it just goes to show sometimes the card works better one way than the other, but I think these are very bright colours for me, and I do I do love the, you know, the two-tone on the poppies and the um, Bermuda Bay and the Pacific Point colours. So let's put them there. If, if I push you, you'll fall over, Jane. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, my lovely. You know, you know where I live. <laughs> so I've cut a piece. You like portrait, Carol. OK, so I've cut a piece of Blackberry Bliss into two inches wide. And then with with this stamp uh, punch, rather, which is still current. I haven't got oh, 21 pounds, I think it is. What I did was it. I've done it at just a fraction under two inches to push in. And what I've done is with this one, you can do it without looking. But with this, you push it all the way to the end and punch. OK, so then you get that lovely top. Um, so what I've then done is I have cut a piece that is one and three quarter inches. And I'm going to make it however long I want, but I'm just doing it by eye. Hi, Martin, my lovely. You've almost missed me, but I'm still going. I did this one originally, and now I've just done this one um, 
while I've been live. So I've just changed it up with the lovely U stamp set. Um, just winging it, my wing it Wednesday. So I'm just going to trim this piece up where I marked it with my fingernail. So that's going to be my my length and I'm just going to again do that because I'm a bi eye girl. Um, so let's do that. So that will go onto there as my tag and now what I want to do is I want to cut another piece to go on the back so that you can put your name and everything because you've done all this work you don't want people to not know who it's from. So I'm going to flip that one over and glue that one already. So let's do this. Turn it over and glue that down to the back of my gift tag. So let's do that. So have you just finished work, Martin? I'm going to put that on the back there. So that's the bit that you can put your two and your from on. So we'll put that to one side there. This was the original one I made. Hi, Julie. How are you, my lovely? So this is what I'm going to, um, to stamp on. But what I'm going to do first is with my scrap bit of um, Rich Razzlebury, I'm going to ink up Smile um, because hopefully they will smile when they actually get this present, whatever it might be. I'm um, going to gently tap, tap, tap using the Versamark, which is a clear water watermark um, ink, which is a bit sticky, which then means that if you look at that, there you go, you can see. I'm okay, thank you, Julie, yes. Um, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take the lid off of my white embossing powder, tap it in. No, I didn't use my... Didn't use my... Uh, right, so let me cut that off. That's See, when I reheat that, that's going to go everywhere. So I'm just going just gonna to chop that off and start again by using my embossing buddy. Let's repeat that section. Um, it does seem to be one of those days today where I'm showing you how not to do things, but we're all human and it shows you that I also make the same. Oh, lovely to see you, Jeanette. Thank you for joining and you take care. Lots of love. Bye. So I've now got my smile all um, with the embossing powder. So I'm just going to quickly grab my heat gum and actually what you can do if you have a pencil because it's not um, it's not going to conduct heat you can actually put your pencil down on your piece of paper while it's still turning because when I did it earlier I actually did it where it was a tiny tiny piece that was blowing all over the place so I didn't want to burn my fingers and again, I'm just going to do it by, I'm going to get my big scissors, bear with me. There we go. And these are stamping up ones that have now sadly retired. They've actually retired them, which is such a shame. So I'm just going to use my big scissors. I'm going to trim the bottom down as well by eye. There we go. So that's there. And that will then go over the top of that. So I'm going to leave that to one side now. I've done that bit. So let's get on with the stamping. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use the blue flowers, actually. You know the blue ones we did earlier. So let's move that to one side. So let's get the old olive. And again, on its side, lightest colour first. So we'll put the green down. I'll leave that undone because we're going to do a few more of those. Oh, preferably not on my crafting. So let's do that. Let's get the um, Bermuda Bay. And again, I'm going to colour the whole of the, the stamp with that. Put that round there and turn that there. And with the contrast in Pacific Point, I'm just going to add that in the centre of the flower. OK, turn that over. And let's have a little look. I want that to come slightly off the page. There we go. And I'm going to do another one of those. So put the green down. You're all very quiet today. Am I mesmerising you or am I boring you? Or have you 
put me on in the background and gone off to do something else, <laughs> which is also fine. I'm still crafting, which is good. Put the blue in the middle here. The blue in the middle there. Okay, and we're going to have that one kind of coming off of there. Hi, Tracy and Sean. Thanks for joining me. I'm just making some cards using the lovely you. And um, so now I want... What do I want coming out? I think I'm going to use this one again. I'm going to use the old olive. You're watching Mesmerised, are you, Jane? Why, thank you so much. So let's put that one across there. You're all just watching, Martin. You're thinking, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> You're still here, Carol. Oh, dear. Right, so again, what I did earlier was with the Blackberry Bliss and this tiny little stamp that looks like a crown. I'm going to use that and add it to the edge of my flowers on every other one, just so that it um, adds a little bit of colour. Otherwise, I tried it on every one and it looked really, really busy. Where was my sample one I did earlier? Yeah, look, this was one I did, tried earlier and it just looks like a, a mistake. So I thought, no, I'll do it on every other one. Um, so now I'm going to add the poppy. And again, if you missed it from earlier, I'm using the old olive marker pen on the side of uh, the, the big nib, the brush tip bit, using that in old olive. I'll put the lid back on these because I don't think I'm going to use them yet, but I can always open them up again. And then I'll use the real red um, on here. I'm pulling it towards me, can you see? So I'm just laying down the colour on its side. And then with the cherry cobbler, uh, I'm going to put a couple of dots here and then I'm going to do it like it was shading in the middle. I just want to make sure I put lots of that on. And then I'm going to pull it down, Ooh, wrong way up, no major problem if it was so I'm just going to put that down there there we go and then it needs a few little man uh, mango melody dots so I'm going to put one there put one there I think that's and maybe put one where shall I put it because uh, you normally have three of everything but I've not done that so maybe we do that. Mm, maybe put one here. Oh, there we go. Right. So that should be all the stamping there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this directly onto it. Because the last one I did, I actually put it on dimensionals. But I want this one to go flat onto the card, I think. So let's do that. Make sure I've got it up the right way. Put that across there. Make sure I've got the smile in the middle. Okay, and then flip it over, cut it off with the edge of my um, scissors, like that. Oops, caught that a little bit. And then, oh, see, <laughs> nearly put it upside down. But it wouldn't have been a major problem. Okay, so. Make sure I've got that where I want it. And I need to put some bling on it, I think. So again, two, two the same, but completely different. Different sizes, different flowers, but the same stamp set. I'm going to put some more of these lovely basic gems from Stampin' Up on the centre of these lovely Mingo Melody flowers. Oops. i put one there. And put one there. Okay, I might add that to one of the other. Oh, these are alive today, I tell you. There. Oopsie, it wants to go on the other one, wants to play. So, completely different. Same stamp set. Let me move this out of the way, put the lid back on. And move that out of the way. So we've got portrait and landscape. There you go. 
Do you have a favourite? Do you prefer one to another? Do you like both? Do you like it cleaner or busier? Tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear. And that stamp set I've used, Jane, is called Lovely You. And it's uh, £22, page 22 of the annual catalogue. And I've used all of the flowers that it comes with, every single one of these flowers, or that you might think of them as leaves. You like them both, Tracy? Oh, thank you for the love. I'm really pleased with them. As I say, they're... Um, it's a stamp set. As soon as I saw it in the catalogue, I thought I must have it. And uh, as I say, I think I would like to do it um, a lot more with completely different colours and see how that goes. You like them both. You like them all, Carol? Sorry, I just knocked the camera there by... Uh... OK, so let me flip you back round. There we go. So landscape, busy one. Oh, you like them both. OK, so... Thank you. Oh, I've got a wonk, I've got a wonky camera today. It keeps wanting to to flop down. So, oopsie. What I mean? I don't. It's a bit naughty. It's being very naughty. Okay. So, um, so that's my Facebook live for today. Not too long. Um, hi, Alison. <laughs> You're checking up on me, are you, my lovely? Oh, I do miss not working together with you, but we do still work alongside each other virtually. So you've just. Fin I've just finished, but as I say, I've done some cards and some gift tags using a lovely stamp set called Lovely You. And I've done a portrait one and a vertical uh, a landscape one and two different gift tags. So, um, so yeah, if you like that, then um, as I say, it's on page 22 of the catalogue. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like to have one, um, then please drop me a line and I will happily help you with a catalogue or some information. Um, at the moment, for every £45 you spend in July, up until I think it's the 1st or the 3rd of August, 1st of August I think it is, you get £4.50 voucher that you can spend in August. So you spend now and you get money off in August, which is always great, especially as our new Christmas catalogue uh, or winter catalogue comes out. Um, yeah, it comes out um, in August, so um, there's some really lovely things in there, and I shall be playing when I get my order. But yes, very quick one today. As I say, it's been absolutely crazy busy, madness, family stuff, etc., etc. Um, yeah, so um, I just thought instead of letting you guys down, I would do a Facebook Live still, keep it very simple. Um, I've loved that you've all joined me, and uh, yeah tell me how you are um, and post some pictures that you've been making cards of underneath this post and if you've missed it um, then you can watch it again on the Facebook live replay or you can go onto my YouTube channel which is um, if you search for Lynn Fay um, then you'll find it there and you can watch all the other previous ones that are already uploaded there um, and watch them at your leisure and stop and start them if you want to follow along and do your own version of the cards um, and um, I will carry on doing my Facebook lives at 4.30 on a Wednesday. Um, so I will look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for joining me. Please stay safe. Look after each other. And uh, yeah, know that uh, I appreciate you joining me. So lots of love and see you next week. Take care. Bye.